is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shinobu Sean and today we are playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. So without any further ado, let's get Yes, sir, we are back. We're back. Let's see what these animals. Hello, Deke. Can you remind me how to use the knapsack? First, get close to the beast you wish to rescue. Then, point the mouth of the bag directly at the beast and open it. The beast should go right in. All right. Let's do it. So I'm guessing we gotta, yep. So we'll put there, that right there. We also gonna have to get some food. Pretty sure that's gonna be a thing. Okay, so I got one. I got one. That's so cool. Not going to hurt you. Oh, dang. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. That's so cool. Everything's all right now. All right, let's go see what Deke. Let's see what Mr. Deke wants from us. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue hey, doing, by the way. the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff schemes and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff scheme. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. I ain't worried about them. You there? Whenever you're Do you ready. see the drip? This is the drip of a main character right here. Come on now. Come on now. Like I was saying before though, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um and... seen better days. Oh, what's that? Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video as well. Oh, can't pick that up right now. I really need to go back to um, Hogsmeade and sell some stuff. Are these just regular goats or Yeah, it looks like it. Can you imagine if you took fall damage from those things? Like from just hitting rocks and stuff like that? That would have been dead right there. Should we continue? Oh good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here. 
in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get oh. in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Oh. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it could also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. That's pretty interesting. So I love how they like throw that in there to make the gameplay mechanics a little bit more of a tricky thing to kind of figure out. And that makes any sense. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income mm. to be used for potion ingredients and labor and Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Alright, so I think we should equip the right skills for this. So let's go ahead and put that there. I guess keep Confringo. And we're using Levioso. That should be good enough, I guess. Oh, you have to actually like fight to get it in there. Settle yourself. You Got it. All right, let's see if I can get another one. Good for you. I did not mean to do that, y'all. I did not mean to do... Y'all, don't look at me different. I swear. That was on accident. I swear I'm a good guy, y'all. I swear. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their. I did not harm any. But are either. not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so so we got our um got a couple of um creatures for our Bag. Hello, Deke. Is it's this the clearing you mentioned? 
It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Dang, what they do to the damn um, elves? I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your okay, so return. If he's the only one that made it to Hogwarts, okay, what they do to the other ones? Oh my god. I mean, I know the. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. We know for a fact that you know, a lot of these um, a lot of these wizards, especially like full blood wizarding families that like go back generations. A lot of them ain't shit. So I guess we will wait till night time. I believe it's through the maps. Change out. Yes. Don't. That's such a that's such an interesting oh thing. God, and we only see these things that the blue ones, right? Yeah. Alright, so we have a spotted one and we have the blue ones. It's so weird that, like, you have magical beasts and then you have, like, regular deers just roaming around. Like, oh, hey! It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All, All right. right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Our bro just left me high and dry, so yeah, find your way back. Can't get no trip or nothing. That's cold. Bro, say you're on your own. I just want to get that. <laughs> I just want to get that off the map real quick. And then let's head back. Sometimes I forget that there's that boost button. Making my way downtown. Something, 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 something. Uh, 
trying to see how I can do it and get in without doing the least amount of work. Man, they always trying to get somebody to do some work out. Always trying to get somebody to exercise. I didn't want to go up them stairs. All right, let's go. Notice that. Aloha, Mora. I was like, oh Lord, I forgot it. Just been here. Okay. Definitely, that's one thing that we're gonna do. We gotta go back to Hogsmeade. But let's get the story missions out the way so we can move forward. show the beast you rescued then you home but um not enough room to let them out here imagine all those beasts running amok that wouldn't do at all perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need the room will provide mm, so that's how they're gonna do it Oh what yeah, they did show that in the trailer. Heavens! Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. We gotta walk our bus in there. Meet you inside when you're ready. I wonder. I know Newt's been taking care of animals since like his days at Hogwarts. Has he ever Look used that room requirement? It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? Yeah, if if one of you guys know that, let me know. A place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. See what the magic beast look like outside of the box. I mean, outside of the bag. Oh, I didn't even know that we caught different um uh, different varieties of each creature. I knew definitely these two. Oh, okay. I was like, um. You can only choose one? I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I 
I like the um, cow print one. That was adorable. I mean, they're both adorable. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as pup skin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you. That's how pretty to interesting. Them. So that's how we're gonna get, you know. I shall let you know when I have some. Y'all, I gotta take the controller from me, y'all. I swear I didn't. It's like literally right here. Are we giving it something to drink to? Or that's just what the food is in, I guess. Oh yeah, that's, that's what the food is in. I wonder now that we've done the tutorial, can we bring out the other beast? I believe so. But we only have limited slots. So. We'll do these. thing looking like that it's adorable but at the same time it's like all right your turn swimming here oh yeah we can so this place is very interactive that's good to know okay this is crazy the developers really did their thing on this one little crevices Oh, it's a chest. Also, we got some of these things too. Okay, so we can actually do some exploring in here. So it says L1 to summon, hide menu. Okay, cool. 
I do want to explore here more, but let's see what Deke's talking about. Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Will all of my beasts produce magical materials? Only a happy beast will produce such materials. Simply use the skills you learned in beast class. Feeding your beast or grooming them with a brush okay, so will make them happier. Got it. Thank you. Got it, got it, got I'll it. Get back to collecting so materials. let me Wonderful. equip Good the luck. brush real quick. Go ahead and get you all brushed up. Oh, okay. I see what they mean now. That's pretty cool. So where's my other? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment you with You need to stop now. disappearing on me like that, bruh. What is the loan? What did you ask me to do with the magical materials? What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Okay, Come so back how to do I do once you've enhanced that? Piece because of clothing. it's saying right here, but. Contrary and land. Oh, so I have to actually. It's been so long since I've been in here to do this. Let's equip all these then. Which one's the conjuring stuff though? The conjuring spell. Okay, so it's this one. We have to conjure this enchanted item to be used in the room requirements. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's place that down there.
Come here, Papa. It's okay. She'll be back. All right. Oh, so is this how... This is cool. I like this. So this is how we can put, like, those special... Cause I was thinking like, okay, maybe rare gears have that specifically, but we can actually put the mods onto our robes and stuff like that. So whatever I'm wearing now, let's see. Gear feature one primary offensive or defensive stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add, um, to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can res um, new beasts can rescue can be rescued at beast ends or unlock quests um, or unlock and quest. New traits receipt sorry. New trait receipts can be collected in bandit caps. Okay. Camps. <laughs> Got it. So we have this on right now. So what do we have on right now? Let's let's go with that first. Let's go with that. So go to our gear. So we have that already enchanted. We're in this robe. And we're in this. Okay. Just want to get a good idea. This tray is too powerful for this item. Increase ancient match meter. Okay. That, that's an option. All right, let's see these. Okay, so we only have three. This one I can't use right now. But we can gain more of them down the line. Okay. I like that. So this one, I believe. Okay, that's good to know. So let's go ahead and add this onto our robe. And then we'll add this. Cause we're gonna use Incendio. Um, Upgrade though. Cool. Increase increased damage by all plants. I wonder what what kind of stuff bolsters our offensive capabilities because it seems like all of our stuff right now is just bolstering. 
Okay. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Sorry, y'all. If y'all hear the train in the background. I swear I didn't mean it. Um, so we have these gloves on right now. They have high offensive capability. So let's see. If we did these, it just upgrades our defense. Hmm. I mean, sure, why not? Oh. Let's try to get some more materials from them real quick. I know that's going to be all up in the audio. Once again, I apologize for the um, train in the background. Five there. Where's the other bird? There we go. go got some more materials all right so we got three of those I was like what the heck Nothing's going to give me offensive capabilities. I can upgrade this. Then the defense is down. Mm.
Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll just keep that on. But it's just crazy. Like, look at the difference between my defense and offense, so. Offense 52. Offense 41. Hmm. That's what I have on right now. All right, let's just go to Deke. Oh, let's get our Mandrakes. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Cool. Thank you for so your help. So we complete Deed. our mission. Did it say main quest one out of 14? Lord have mercy, this is going to be a long ride. But I'm down for it. Hope you guys are too. Meet me near the ruins of Oh, Nati want to, Nati want to come anyone. and hang out with me after hours. Don't, don't pay me no mind. After hours. Um. Ten and that'd be close. Haven't I not learned when Guardian Leviosa already? Maybe I'm gonna learn like the second part of it. Anatomy class. Sebastian's Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. Cover them up. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what this is about. Speak to Sebastian. Okay. And of course I have all of these. Okay. I mean, we'll save those for another time. In the meantime, let's focus on the main quest. Gotta do this one too, because that's gonna be something important. So I'm already here, so might as well just attend class. The chocolate cannons are going to be unbeatable next season. You just wait and see. Wait. your reading is the dragon that's exciting I suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure ladies professor Shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar.
Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Come here. Can't be barking in my videos, bruh. It can't be barking in my videos. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above. That man's freezing and she's like, get over it. <laughs> That's so cold. <laughs> Dismiss. She said, oh, you, oh, you're, oh you're, you're cold, huh? Hey, he was again. creepy. I remember we him. Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, I'll meet. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't take his telescope. I can't do that, I'll meet. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia. Of course, I have plan. not. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. Uh, thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put up my stargazing as long as I could. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they... Oh, beautiful. Oh. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of I tea. I can't have simple dialogue with people without you getting all worked up. Oh, oh. That was terrifying. What the heck? He told me to grab. Bro, it's down there. How am I supposed to get down there? They playing with me now. Bro, how do you want me to get? Y'all make me mad now. Oh, I'm just stupid. It's all right. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Let's go ahead and quit my spells back. I don't know 
what you're saying, lady. There he goes. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective this star creepy. a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going yeah. about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. A feeling that we're right, to to right. No, no, I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than. Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I suppose I can join you. All right, I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? Oh, so we're going to the one over here. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs. Speaking of centaurs, I wonder if we're going to see any in the game. <sighs> it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Oh, big old hey, why baby. Don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little four party. Exactly. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, he's one of those. He's got a little OCD going on. Can't grab that right now. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school. I mean. Oh. Constellation Oh, this is interesting. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, yep, yep. This. Okay. Was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. I look forward to it. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. So we can finally use those tables, tables like now. Throughout the grounds That's and pretty forest. cool. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. Okay. It's all in the throat, okay. really, gobbledygook. You know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. I am 
Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. All right, we got that mission out the way. It's a cool dude for the most part. He's just a little creepy. A little weird. Quest. As a matter of fact, let's do this one first. Glad we have. Um, <laughs> I'm glad we have a fast pass. Fast, fast, fast travel. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar. All right, let's see. Worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. So it seems like Ominous is just trying to look out for Sebastian. Sebastian is probably just being too reckless trying to cure his sister. That's what I think is going on. Although I do not like Ominous, I can understand where he's coming from. If my theory is correct. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Mm. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Oh. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, mm. his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, mm. but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. Wow. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. It's kind of blackmail, but... I'll have news soon enough. I don't know Ominous about understand. that one, bro. Seems like you're going a little in too deep. I get it, but it's not worth losing friends to achieve your goal, especially if your if your goal can't fully be achieved.
But all right, guys, I think we're going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you guys for all the support. Until next time, see ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.